Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. I'm Get Good Guy, and today we're drawing to a close my initial coverage of the Weapon Crate update with a review of the Shogren Inertial Slug. As with all of my previous reviews, which I'll link to in the description if you haven't seen them, today we'll be focusing more so on the basics of the weapon and my personal opinion than usual. This is because Simthic.com, where I and many others get the in depth stats for the weapons, hasn't yet added the new ones. And so, with that said, let's get into this. Well, I was genuinely dreading this one. I initially used the Shogren Slug for about two minutes at the end of a play session when I was tired and maybe playing a little on tilt. I decided very quickly I didn't like it. Obviously, this isn't the thing to do. Don't do that. But that was my initial impression. And so I left collecting the footage for this weapon until last. I came back to it about a week later for a completely fresh session and absolutely bodied some people with it. This came as a real surprise to me. I expected this thing to be useless, but it can do some real damage when used correctly. Plus, it just goes to show how important being alert and calm can be to your performance. I had so much fun running around with this, dynamite, and a revolver. It was a blast, just causing absolute havoc. As you can see, I grabbed my footage in Team Deathmatch this time, which is both a great and at the same time terrible scenario for this weapon. Obviously, close quarters tends to be desirable for shotgun play, but also, with this being a slug variant, any missed shots are likely to be punished much more heavily by people using SMGs, close range medic rifles, and even just buckshot shotguns. And that is the strange dichotomy of this weapon. It's both more and less forgiving than the other two slug shotguns at the same time. This is because it fires faster than the Model 10A slug with an RPM of 163 according to the Shogren factory on Simthic, compared with 78 for the Model 10. But the Shogren does a lot less damage, and it has a lot more rounds to utilize per reload than the Model 1900 slug, with 5 compared to 2, but again, it does a lot less damage, so it's a trade-off. The Shogren slug kinda sits between these two weapons, and it requires more precision and less precision depending on the circumstance. I'll explain. I'm yet to notice a one-shot kill with this weapon on a full health enemy without hitting a headshot. It may be possible, as again I don't have the detailed stats, but it seems that it's extremely rare or isn't possible at all. This means that with the Shogren slug, you can react more quickly quickly or can stay in the gunfight for a longer amount of time, so it's more forgiving, but you're generally required to land more shots, so it's also less forgiving. Does that make sense? <laughs> You can get follow-up shots off more easily with the Shogren, but its lack of one-hit kill potential means you're usually having to fire at least three times if you miss a shot. This obviously can leave you dead against a good opponent with a suitable weapon, but you have more shots to play with to recover, but you don't have that instant one-shot recovery available, which can make for kind of a strange experience, and does mean that some people will much prefer the Shogren Slug, and other people will much prefer the Model 10 Slug or Model 1900 Slug. I don't see there being much middle ground here. It does seem though, according to the in-game graphs, that the Shogren can maintain its max damage out a bit further than the other two options. But beyond these comparisons though, the Shogren slug can do good work in the right hands. You can use it kind of like an infantry or carbine scout weapon at close range, staying aimed down sight and putting shots out at a decent pace until the enemy drops. And obviously, as it is a slug variant, this does allow for some kills at ranges that you can't even dream of with a buckshot shotgun anymore, especially if you can pick out a headshot. On the flip side though, the hip fire actually seems to be a little less accurate than I had hoped. I'd kind of expected laser beam precision due to it being a slug variant, but I tended to find that aiming down sight was necessary a lot of the time beyond super short range. Although I don't have the stats on this again, and my aim may have been a little off, either way you can still sometimes achieve some nasty hip fire kills from time to time. Oh, and I should mention the sights, as I generally don't like optical sights most of the time. But I recently had someone suggest altering the reticle for the site, and I found this helped a lot. I've gone for the beam reticle, and I found aiming to be way easier than with the default option. Then, I also have my magnification set to the maximum possible for this footage, that being 2.5 times. So overall, the Shoglen Slug is a fun weapon in my opinion, and it can be very effective, far more so than I had initially thought possible. But it will require a player with the right skill set. If you can't hit your shots precisely and consistently, then you're probably 
probably going to have a pretty horrible time with this weapon. And a lot of what you can do with this weapon, you could just do more easily with the factory variant, admittedly. Except for those long range blasts that happen from time to time. So this isn't a game changer, but it is a nice addition to have and it will suit some people out there very well. It's also an option that would probably be easier to use on PC, due to the mouse allowing you to pick out headshots more easily and more consistently hit the target in general. But this is all just my opinion. What do you think? Are you excited about the Shoglen Inertial Slug? Or are you more likely to stick with a standard buckshot shotgun? Let me know in the comments below. Now let's go over to the Board of Awesome for the fantastic people who allow you to get content from me full time by supporting the channel on Patreon. Without them, it wouldn't be possible to do this every day. So thanks to everyone on here. If you want to join them on the Board of Awesome, then the link to the Patreon page is in the description below and in my pinned comment. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to turn on notifications so you don't miss future videos and feel free to like, share and subscribe. I'm Get Good Guy and I'll see you next time. Latest.